Hello everyone, today it's Isaac King videos and today this is a really important video on my Echo Show 5 second generation. This has been lying around and patiently waiting for a jailbreak. Just a few days ago we finally have a jailbreak for it. I have, I have been waiting about four years to actually finally jailbreak this device. So let's do it. So let's read the instructions first. This is only for the second generation released in 2021. We got this in 2021. And to look at that, the model number actually matches. So this is the page right here. So now let's begin. This program is going to see the risk of burning breaking your device. So this is for the second generation. So let's now begin breaking this device. So I've got all the essentials. Let's prepare. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download the zip file. So let's now install that. This is the firmware version I have to be on. 6.5.5.0 or 6.5.7.0. Any version newer than 6.0 is supported. It looks like it's installing some application updates. My version is 6.5. 5.7.1 so it says any new version 6.5.7.0 is supported so it looks like we're in the green so let's do it oh so, yeah that's now done if you wish the user so you must be registered onto your amazon account i've done that install the latest remote package from the attachments of this post we've already installed the adb drivers so right let's now extract the zip file just a random cookie's preference that's popped up on the screen. Right, now let's extract the zip file. Extract all, here we go. And extract again, whoops. Let's extract again. Oh, camera's going out of focus. All right. It looks like the zip file is extracted. If you are using Windows, double click the Fastbrick script. You are using Linux or in the Fastbrick.sh. So now we're going to be doing that. We're now going to be lo loading up the bat script. If this is the file we need, bat Fastbrick. So now let's load that folder up. Let's run it again. And now we just wait. Connect the device to the AC and hold down all three buttons until fast mood fast mode appears on the screen. The device is in fast boot mode, so it's done it. Once in fast boot mode, connect for the device using the micro USB cable, and the script should automatically detect the device. Now let's plug in for micro USB cable to the computer and to the device. Right, let's plug it in. There, it's plugged into the device. When prompted, type yes and follow on the screen instructions both on the computer and device will, while the exploit executes. Do not interrupt the process at the 10 second grace period. Any interruption will permanently break the device. Let's do it. So press any key to continue. Kindle Fire USB driver. Let's just install that. Execute this program. Classic Windows XP transferring page. Install that. I trust Amazon this time. All right, that looks like it's done. Let's try again. Let's try this again. USB transferring. Finally, it's doing it. Important, backup your OS. When the device boots into the user, you should immediately use the backup script to create backup. This backup is essential. Let's press on the key to exit. But while it's doing that, we're going to let it do its jailbreak. Finally, it's working. So there we go. It is now proceeding with the jailbreak. This is actually a really cool screen. I actually really like this screen. So this now usually takes about five minutes, so in about five minutes I will come back to this. A few moments later. 
And there you go, it's done. And it didn't even take five minutes. The first ever time we are seeing an Amazon Alexa run into the TWRP screen. I've always wanted to see this. There we go. Finally. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, now let's back up the operating system. When the device boots into Tribuja, you should immediately use the backup script to create blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. Once you're in TWRP, if you ever want to go back to the stock virus, you will need a backup. If this is critical for the internet, you have the logger making it impossible to set fish. Run backup dot bat owners or reservation blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now let's now do the backup script. The you it doesn't say to exit recovery mode, so may as well just back up through TWRP. I allow I allow this to continue. Important. Make sure your device your device is on and set up access protection information to our Proceed to continue. Where do you want to save the backup? All right, let's type in the backup location. So I have now called my backup folder. It's echoed up because it's echoing up. <laughs> yeah, it's a cringe joke. It's absolutely beautiful looking at this on the Echo Show. I've always wanted to see TWRP on this device since 2022. Looks like it's now backing up the system. There we go. It seems like the partitions have been backed up. So here it is, here's TWRP, and it's all backed up to the system. I'm unlocked, now what? You may be wondering what to do next when you're unlocked with your Echo Show 5. While we can't prove guarantee every idea you may have, we can offer you some basic pointers. If you want to get rid of Fire OS, give Line Age 18.1 a try based on Android 11. So this is what we need next, the rooted bootroop.zip because here's what I want to do I kind of want to install APKs on this device so let's do that so first we're going to get to the root shell and I'm just going to download this zip and copy it to the internal storage so here is boot root now let's copy that to the internal storage all right looks like the storage isn't showing I'm going to do another thing let's move it to the internal storage there we go now it's finally worked so on my device right now we have got Boot root dot zip. Let's now flash this. There we go. Now it's rooted. Installing APKs by default in some versions. Firebase blocks installation. This can be bypassed by ADB and root access after rooting and rebooting your into FireOS. Simply run these commands. So let's do it. Now reboot into FireOS and see if it works. Let's hope it works. Right, it seems like the shell is open. Let's install some apps. Now let's go for settings, put disable bouncer one. Let's enable that. Now I can finally install APKs. Installing custom launchers after booting for boot image gives you a rigid shell. Any launcher and then run the following commands. Here is the restore command. So that's cool. So I'm thinking on installing Nova Launcher. All right, that's way too new. That's more like it. Let's download this version from five years ago. We are now going to exit the shell and do the ADB sideload command again. All right, let's sideload some applications. Let's install the Nova Launcher onto the Alexa. And for the first ever time, we've got an APK on this. Next, we have to disable the original launcher so this is what we need to do in order to remove the like apk adb remount 
adb shell. All right, now paste in this command. That's much better. Now we just simply reboot the device. Here it is. Here is now the custom launcher on my Echo Show. And here we are. We've now got the default launcher on the Echo, the Android launcher on the Echo Show. And here we are. We have now got the App Store finally working on this. So here is all the default apps. So that's pretty neat. Pressing home kicks it back to the home page. So there we go. Let's now put a wallpaper on this. I'm going to put the default wallpaper. Oh, it's crashed. Guess it doesn't like wallpapers. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be putting the Google Play services on this. So here are all the APKs. These these are all the Google APKs we, in order to make the Google Play Store work on this. First, we're going to install the Google Play services, Google services frameworks. Now we need to install the Google Account Manager. Next, the Google Play Services. Now, finally, the Google Play Store. Unfortunately, Google Play Services keeps, framework keeps stopping, unfortunately. So I don't know why that's happening, but that's obviously a bug. So I'm going to try a different version of Google Services Frameworks, but I use a program called ES File Explorer. I mainly use ES File Explorer and rooted devices to manage apps. ES File Explorer has an apps manager, so I can just uninstall apps if I need to. And there we go, works perfectly. So now let's get rid of Google Services Framework and uninstall, uninstall. So there you go. That's one good thing about ES File Explorer. Installing an Android 5.0 version of Google Services Framework. So let's hope that fixes the error. All right, it's installed. Let's try again. And please don't freak out. Luckily, it didn't. Never mind, I spoke too soon. I guess Google Apps just don't work on 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 the Echo Show. I think only Lineage version as well. So that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping it will work. But you never know. I may get it working. I may not. I may just give up. But at least we've managed to get a jailbroken rooted Echo Show. Yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to rotiz2 for making this for making this unlock for the echo show five second generation so that now wraps up the video today so anyways thanks for watching and subscribe